Greetings guys, this is Stokecraft and today we are looking at some games in the Centurion Mark 1. Guys, the Comet grind has been ended. I have got the Centurion 7-1. To be honest, I have already gotten over 100,000 experience. I will show you in the screen at what precise amount I am right now. I also got some really good achievements on the Comet. I got the second mark of excellence. But let's not beat around the bush here. Let's focus at the beauty of a tank that is the Centurion Mark 1. As you can see, this model isn't in HD, unfortunately. But we are in a very good matchup here against some yeah, other tier 8 tanks. So we are going to have to play really well to do yeah, and to get a good result. But as you guys have seen in the last video, it, it went pretty quickly. But as we are looking right now, you can see that I am staying pretty much held down. Why is that? The Centurion Mark 1 has got a really weak hull. Pretty much you're not going to bounce anything on this hull. Also artillery hits. Yeah, um, this thing doesn't take artillery hits too well. I just killed the Oni there. Sorry I didn't show you that. But I just killed the Oni. But oh well, it's just pretty bad. Uh, I've got a lot of experience of playing with the Centurion Mark 1 at the moment. What is really nice about the tank is the penetration. As you can see there, I could just fire at the angles, angled surface of the ice 3 turret there. With uh, other tanks like a T-54 Mod 1, I wouldn't have been able to penetrate that shot. Luckily I did. But uh, pretty much you should have to stay as much held down as possible because the armor is really good. The turret armor is also not really good, but there is this gun magnet here as you can see that is quite alright. But you still are going to have to be very lucky to reliably bounce shots on this turret because this turret might be all right the armored the gun mantlet also isn't that strong the front of the gun mantlet yeah these strips on the top and on the bottom here are really strong but the middle of the gun mantlet is only 100 millimeters thick there's this space armor thing of the gun mantlet but there is no armor behind that so the middle of the gun mantlet is really weak indeed and that's something that is really unfortunate but pretty much the thing you need to learn that I have just said here, the summary of what I've just said is try to stay held down at all costs. Being held down in this tank is the only way to be able to get good results out of it. You won't be able to bounce anything when you try to not be held down. Sometimes you of course have to chain exchange hit points for to do damage and that's of course that totally normal. But keep this in mind, always try to go on down. And that's why this matchup on Malinovka was just the right matchup to do what I needed to do. So I've also got some crazy results in this tank as well. I won a 1 versus 4 engagement. What we are going to look at next. I'm not going to show you the whole replay, but I'm just going to show you the 1 versus 4 situation. And I got a Redley Walters in this uh, tank. On the map Kharkov, a really unusual map for a Centurion to do good at, to do good in. But I did, so that's really good. What's also really weird about the Centurion and what, um, yeah, what I think is really annoying is the gun handling. The statistics say that the gun is has got really good gun handling. This gun it gets a 0.33 accuracy and a 2.3 seconds aim time, which is really good. But as you can see the aim circle is really big and you have to aim for quite some time at least it felt like quite some time to be able to get as accurate as possible here good example see i aim for quite a long time and then i be able to put a shot in same for this uh, situation here but as you can see now the accuracy is pretty good but when i turn my tank or when i start moving just just look at it the aiming circle just goes big and I think that is because this tank gets really bad uh, gun dispersion or something like that. I haven't looked it up yet on tanks.dg or anything like that. I really have to. Perhaps I'll show that in the screen at the moment. We'll see. But the thing is that the gun handling 
of this tank isn't the best. At least it feels like it. So, what kind of equipment have I put on this tank? I've put on... Oh, and a nice penetration by the OI there. Really balanced tank, isn't it? As you can see, 51 millimeters of side armor. No problem for an OI to penetrate it. Anyways, he's going to die. As soon as somebody manages to hit him through the window there. Good stuff. If we just try yeah. And as long as we have our backs we never so guys, now we're looking at the 1 versus 4 engagement. It's not a really 1 versus 4, but this artillery isn't going to do me much good this game. So, what's been the situation here? I am in my Centurion Mark 1, of course, and I have spent most of the game in the middle of the map here trying to spot as yeah, most as I could I could have in that game. But the situation, as you can see, there's an IS-6 right here. He's not spotted anymore, you can see it on the map. There's still an OI, who's a good player. There's still an M6 and there's an SU-101 somewhere around. So we're just going to see how I deal with the situation. So, as you can see, I've got a premium shell loaded. I really can't afford to bounce on this IS-6. By the way, the damage counter on the top, according to my XVM, doesn't uh, show the right number anymore. Just keep that in mind. Well now, this shot on the i6, I've got it, but I bounce on the ass of the, you know, on the front plate, it looks like it was of the i6, but I thought that was the ass of the i6, but unfortunately not. So I'm thinking, okay, the SU is probably in the middle, and he is, and he can of course shoot at me, so I'm going to have to find cover behind this house here. Oh, now it's a 1 versus 4 situation. So, there's this SU, he gets unspotted. I roughly uh, know his last spotted location and I fire. I'm just gonna leave this premium rounds loaded because I really can't afford to bounce anything at this situation. I've only got 400 hit points remaining. And as you can see, the blind shot hit, luckily. That, that saves me a lot of time. He's going into the cap, so I will have enough time to take him down here. My quickly reload time will be able to do that for me. So he's dead now and now this IS-6 is going to be next. I wait until I'm reloaded and I'm going in for the kill. There he is and I shut him down. These premium rounds enable me just to go through the upper plate of the IS-6 because I was shooting down at him. There's the OI, can I take him down? No, unfortunately my shot misses by a country mile. And as you can see he is behind a rock so I won't be able to take him down so what is the right thing to do now the m6 is probably somewhere in the city as well and the oi is of course expecting me to come to him so the thing is i'm going to have to ambush this oi at some point how am i going to do that i decide to load some standard rounds again because yeah Loading premium rounds against an OI is not really needed. I can reliably go through him. As I make a slightly mistake here. I didn't know that he was going to be able to get a glimpse of me here. And now I make a very big mistake. Luckily he misses me as you could see. I didn't even know that he could see me from there. But he could. So what am I going to do now? He knows. He sees me driving this, uh, this way now. Because he is still spotting me. When he gets unspotted, I know that I'm unspotted as well. And that's this moment. So what I do now, I turn around. I know that he's not going to see me through that alleyway again. So I'm going to be ambushing him from a different location now. He thinks that, of course, I am in the city right now. Because he uh, saw me go that way uh, for the last time. So he's a good player. He's got more W8 than I have. So I'm going to have to ambush him. And I'm going to do just that. I'm just going the whole other way around. And now the M6 is revealing himself. So I do know where the M6 is right now. But the thing is, I really need to kill this OI first. So I'm just going to do just that. He didn't get spotted, so that means he probably must have drove it, driven into the city. And he did, so just going to take him out. Here. I decided to do a load of premium round, as you can see, just to get the shots off. Another thing is that M6 is in the cap circle. I know exactly where he is, so the thing is now how can I take him down as cleanly as possible? Because of course I have to try and do that without, without getting any damage in return. 
So it looks like I can go hold down there on that ridge. So let's see if I can manage to get hold down there. Would be nice, of course. The M6 is, of course, going to try and find cover behind Rex of other tanks that got killed in the cap circle. So let's see uh, if he's going to find good cover there. No, not really. I spot him, and as you can see, he's much taller than the SU-101 Shrek. So I will be able to put a shot right through his turret there. This premium round isn't really needed, but at least it got the reset off, and I I can just take all the time that I need to take this guy down. One more shot needed just to take him out. GG. Right. So that's a one of the one versus four situations I will be able to win. As you can see, I got seven kills here, and I actually got a lot of top medal, top gun medals in this tank. So let's take a look. So as you can see, we are at the statistics of my Centurion Mark 1. Of course, these aren't the best statistics you could ever get. But the thing is, I didn't really like this tank as much as I could have. But anyway, let's not focus up on that. We are here at the medals we have got. As you can see, I got 5 Top Gun medals, which is a lot, to be honest. I have never gotten as many Top Gun medals with this tank as I have gotten with any other tank, I think. At least not with the Seal Clubbing tank. And we also got a Redley Waters medal, and I've um got the replay of that so i had to say let's get into that replay let's go so guys this is the last game we're going to show you in this game we're going to get a good amount of kills as i would say so we're on the map karkov as you can see and i'm in the platoon with my friends called boombox and yogurt i am of course in the centurion mark one and the thing is as i said you always want to stay held down and karkov is a pretty all right map for that as you can see there are all these puddle yeah piles here everywhere so this is a very good opportunity for me to stay as much held down as i possibly can i of course won't manage it every time but the thing is you want to stay as held down as you can as possible as i said the hull is really 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 bad so put a good shot into that guy that i'm that is a frontal engagement that I don't really want to put myself into now. But I decide, okay, I can't leave Boombox alone on this flank, so I'm going to have to help him out. So I'm thinking, okay, let's rush forward into the, the position you can see on the left there, because that's a better way for me to get held down. I wait until they fire, see if I can put a sneaky shot into them, but I don't. I track the T-150. But it doesn't really matter though, and now I decide, okay, let's go towards that position. I decide to take the shot from the Canon and Jack Panzer, but he luckily shoots HG and only does 9 damage to my tank. And we take him out as well, which is good. So there's the first kill of this game, and the surprise Jack Panther appears here. So he has got to deal with me now, and I am held down. So this is a really good engagement for this tank. So I can see his turret before he can even see mine. This is good. So one more shot will finish him if I manage to stay held down. So that's my second kill and we're on 800 damage at the moment. Not that much special. But I have to save Yogurt. He's in a T69 which has an auto loader. So he was reloading and he needed a little bit of help there to help him kill that guy. So that's good. But now there's this whole pile of medium tanks trying to flank around. And this is not a good engagement for this tank as you can see. I am not held down at all. I decided to repair my tracks because that was not a good position for me to be in. I was totally exposed with my hull armor. So this is a really bad engagement for my tank. The best thing I can do here is to try and get uh, held down using the ridge there. But the thing is these medium tanks are on too much health for me at the moment. So I am not going to be able to reliably fight those guys here. That was an unlucky shot. The thing is also what I find with the Centurion Mark 1 is that this tank has got a really good statistics for its gun that was also really unlucky not penetration but anyway the thing is as you can see the shots don't really always go where you aim that was a really bad example because the shot exactly aimed where i went where i aimed it but the thing is when i sometimes aim up the shot it just doesn't go anywhere to where i aim it and that sucks a little bit <laughs> Good kill here on the MX CDC. I thought, okay, let's just go in, mate. I just want some kills here. So, another Panzer Boots picked up there. And now the CDC, the ELC is on my left, but he gets taken out, luckily. 
And there's this Jeffy to see if I can get my top medal here. Of course, he's running away. Well, he won't be for that long at least. So, the scores are even at the moment. And this is not looking very good because there's a lot of heavy tanks in the city still. This is not looking like it's going to be very good. But luckily, we take out the... Yeah, somebody else too, takes out the Jeffy. Unfortunately, Yogurt died against the... Uh, Bezer 58 Muts and the... How is it called? Oh yeah, the Amex CDC. So right now we're going to have to help Boombox, who is in a pretty tricky situation. He's fighting against two heavy tanks, a Black Prince, and there's also an Ice 3 trying to pressure him from that back corner, as you can see on the map. So I'm just going to have to try and help him as much as I can. So I decide, okay, this WZ 111 is the first tank I will probably meet, so he's going to be the first target here. I want 5 kills, so if I manage to take this guy out, he will be my top gun man. As I have a lot of health left, I don't really mind taking shots at this moment. So I'm just going to trade my health in here. But he drives around the corner foolishly, so I can put some shots into him. I angle as much as I can and I wiggle, but it doesn't help. And he shoots a heat shell right through my tracks. Could have easily not done any damage to me, because as you guys know... Uh, when you fire heat shells, heat doesn't do as much damage here. And I try, okay, let's help Boombox. I'm going to flank you. But then I see that the wreck of the Yak Panther that I created blocks the, <laughs> the way in towards that alleyway there. So I'm pretty stuffed. So, and the surprise Super Pershing appears. But it doesn't really matter as he is an easy kill for me. So now I try decide to load some premium rounds to take on the Ice 3. I know I've got enough penetration, but I don't really want to bounce any shots at this moment. I am fighting for a Radley Walters medal, so I would like to take this kill. So he just fired, so there's no way he's going to put another shot into me. And there's only one tank left, 59 Patton, and there he is, he just rushes forwards. And I don't even know if I still realize that I had premium shells loaded, but of course that is not needed at all. So, good last shot into the 59 Patton. And my KB3 friend finishes him off. So, that was a really good game. It wasn't the highest damage total you could ever get, but at least we got a good amount of kills and another Redley Walters medal. So guys, for the statistics of this game, you can see them right in your screen right now. I won't give a commentary on statistics of games that much anymore because I just don't like watching that myself. But anyway, I hope you liked to see this video and of course my achievements in the Centurion Mark 1. I have to say sorry for the late upload, but I was just focusing that much on the grind that I didn't really have time to upload videos. At this precise moment, I have already got the Centurion 7-1 and I am on a very, very good amount of experience. I think it's around 70k already, so I'm gonna do my best to get my Centurion Action X as soon as possible. I also tried to render this video in 60fps, so please give me some feedback of that in the comments below. For now, that was it. Please leave a like as I did put a lot of time in making this video and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.